leads to it not being successful. So let's look at this too. Um, I'm trying to remember what I asked you. All right, so um, so after COVID, so we had COVID, we had the whole pandemic that lasted two years. How did that affect our workforce? What was happening to people? All right, sickness, disease, people were scared to go out and they were scared to work, right? All right, so did this hurt our society in a certain sense? Yeah, our economy. All right, it hurt our economy. You didn't have toilet paper. <laughs> that was one of them. Um, baby formula was another one. Um, a lot of these factories shut down. Has anybody ever heard, this is where I came from, um, the car business. Does anybody know what was going on with the car business? Anybody know anything about that? Used cars are super high right now. Um, there was a, when I worked at a Hefley Motor Company, there was a 2017 Dodge Ram with 40,000 miles on it, selling for what it sold for brand new. Isn't that crazy? So what the big problem with that is they shut these factories down and there was a lack of workers. They shut these factories down and they couldn't put these sophisticated chips in the trucks. So they couldn't create 2021, 2022 brand new trucks, all right? So when they couldn't create these new trucks um, with the shortages due to COVID, it affected the whole car market. So I wanna go buy a 2017 Dodge Ram, but I'm gonna have to pay 45 grand and it's got 40,000 miles on it. So you see how this is affecting the economy in a way, it's affecting the workforce, all those different things. Uh, last thing we wanna cover. Uh, with that, with the modern day sense. Um, what is the government giving to people that limits their work? Uh, funding. So government funding. What were people getting in their pockets? Food stamps. Uh, what's another thing? What are the? It's a check. What's a what's a check called? No. Yes, yeah, stimulus check. Stimulus check was a big thing during COVID. This was government aid. So that was another thing that affected COVID. A lot of people were on unemployment. They're making a lot of money based on unemployment. My girlfriend was working at TJ Maxx and she was making more money than she was making working at TJ Maxx. So if you have that luxury, that government aid, you're less likely, why would you go back to work, right? So that was a big thing that you got to look at uh, with the COVID pandemic. And you saw how it affected our whole society for about two years. But now, Everybody's catching up. They're paying you more money. You can go work at uh, Rocks or Rudders for $17 an hour being a cashier. You want to know what I started off on working at the McFarland house? I paid $8.75 to wait tables, busing tables, and all those different things. And I, $8.75 when I was in high school. That's crazy. So now everything's starting to catch up. Our workforce is catching up but the COVID pandemic put us behind. And that just kind of gives you a certain sense when you're looking at um, refusal to work and just the workforce in general and how it affects the society, past and present. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, cool. Last thing, and then we're gonna get into the assignment. So, successes of Jamestown. So if they're in a swampy, marshy area, what do you think they should do? Where do you think they should go? What do you do if you don't like the area you're in? Yes, you relocate, you move. All right, so what they ended up doing, they relocated inland to a better area. They moved out of that swampy, marshy area. They could find more fertile ground. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, so I want you to compare that with when you do your successful settlement. All right, think about those things. Location is super important. I think the English just really didn't know what to expect. They went in it kind of blind and really, and really dumb really ignorant to the situation. They should have just not rushed it and picked a good area. So same thing with you, what you're gonna do on your side. Next thing, um, more of a fearful tactic. If people refuse to work, what do you think they did? They threatened them. So one of the ways that they threatened them, they would threaten them with exile or hanging. So people that refuse to work, they would hang them. All right, do you think that's a, in a pastime sense, do you think that's a pretty successful thing that you can use to get people to work? You make an example of people. That's how English people used to do it in their society. If somebody committed a crime or anything, they would hang people in the square. 
All right, make an example like, hey, don't do this. Or they put you in that guillotine where they go, cut your head off. Fearful tactics. People are less likely to do things if they're scared. All right, next thing, and you'll see that throughout history. We'll cover all that. Uh, next thing, crop. A crop that was grown in the Americas that was super successful. What is this? Tobacco. Yes, tobacco. So they were able to farm. They were able to do different things. They grew their economy. So they started making money. Economics is super important for a society to be successful. So tobacco, growth of the economy. Does that make sense? So this guy, the guy that created it, John Rolfe. Has anybody ever heard of his name? He's the guy that married Pocahontas. You might know who Pocahontas is, the Disney movie. Uh, yes, John Rolfe. So this guy, what he ended up doing, he got this um, tobacco originated in Brazil. So what he did is he took the Brazilian strain and he worked with the Native Americans and they put this tobacco strain together and boom, it was successful in the Americas. I believe the amount of money they made in two years, it was, I think it was $15 million or something like that throughout the whole world selling that tobacco. Um, tobacco is less successful in England. What, what's England's temperature like? Cold. Yeah, it's cold. All right, so tobacco is not going to do really well in that. John Rolfe and the Native Americans created this. Boom. Their society becomes successful. Uh, they start making money. Does anybody have any questions on this? All right, so um, last thing we're going to cover and review all this really quick. Why is this important to understand this, um, the conditions and the successes of Jamestown. We talked about society as being one of the most important things, sociology involving social studies. So, looking at all these things, you're like, why the heck do I need to know about Jamestown? This doesn't affect you in any certain way, right? But it kind of does. You have to understand how society works in a certain place. All the different negatives, and the positives on how you can change the society and the development of society. It's like, history is so, like, you can like, remember the past, you know, like, including the certain states in the future. Yeah, and that's the big thing that you got to look at, comparing all these things and comparing them to now. Um, these things are good examples for us to live by as people. All right? So next thing you're going to do, everybody ready to do this? Yeah. All right. So last thing we're going to do, um, I'm going to hand you out an assignment sheet, which you're going to work on today. You're going to create your own successful settlement. So uh, during this, you're going to draw a picture. So let me go ahead and hand this out to you. Um, email one of the mirror back there. Sorry, I mean to throw it at you. So you see my little handy dandy picture on there. Y'all love my little handwritings, but you understand my drift. Mm -hmm. Super. <laughs> That's true. Um, you're going to be able to use printer paper. I'll explain it to you. So what you're going to do, uh, I'll show you a better picture here in a little bit. I'll draw it up on the board for you. So what you're going to do, you're going to draw a picture of a settlement with details of things you will need to be successful. People, I want you to color this. I want you to make it look neat. All right? So when you label, say you draw it in a square, you draw it in a triangle, I want you to draw that building, label what it is. If you put crops, label what it is. Does that make sense? Uh, colored pencils, markers, anything you need is over there in the back. Name your colony. You see that I named it Brewerville. You like that name? All right, uh, so Brewerville. So I made it a triangle, that dude on the edge, he's uh, the protection of the fort. Um, I was really quick with it. I'll show you my drawing up here and you'll be like, oh, I understand what he's talking about. Um, so what you're gonna do, draw all those different things that would make your society successful, put all the things that you would put into your settlement. Uh, next question, so you're gonna answer these questions. You'll have printer paper, it's there in the second uh, drawer in the back. You'll put your picture on the front, and on the back, what you're going to do, you're going to answer these questions. Where will you settle your colony? Why will this placement lead to success? So you can pick, imagine if they didn't settle on the east and they settled on the west coast. Has anybody ever thought about that? They settled on the west coast in California, they probably would have been pretty successful. 
Um, so you can put it on the west coast, the north, the south, anywhere you'd like. Um, why will this placement lead to success? Does that make sense? Explain to me why I stayed, explain, give an example. Uh, how many people will you bring to your colony? What type of people? How will you get people to join your colony? How will you protect your colony? What type of weapons, anything that you're gonna need to protect your colony, walls, all that stuff. Uh, what will you need to survive? Crops, materials, shelter, what type of skills are you gonna need to know? Last thing, uh, problems, conditions that you can run into in your specific area that you chose. Um, how will you keep your society in order? Remember they talked about hanging people? Um, what are you gonna use to where people will follow your rules and your laws? Um, create at least two or three laws, all right? That'll uh, keep your society in check. Last thing, economics. Are you gonna trade? Are you gonna set up your own money system? How are you gonna make money? What are you gonna trade? What are you gonna provide to the world? Does this make sense? All right, so uh, what we're gonna do, last thing, we're gonna do our clap for understanding. Did we do the new one with you, the stomp stomp clap? Mm -hmm. All right, so we got a new one, seven period introduced. They said, Mr. Brewer, let's change it up. We're gonna wake Gio up. Listen to this. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna do a stomp, stomp, clap, and then we're gonna get into the assignment. Does that make sense? All right, so I'm gonna do three, two, one. Y'all are all gonna be in unison. Make it super loud, make sure everybody hears this. All right, everybody good? You ready? Let's make it good on the first try. You ready? Three, two, one. All right, perfect, go ahead and get to work.